Hello, welcome back to my channel, Being Rocky. I hope everyone is keeping safe. Well, as you know, today is birthday Wednesday. And the first birthday request is going out to Vanessa from Queens, New York, who celebrates her birthday on the 6th of March. Birthday greetings going out to you from your loving husband who requested me to make beef patty for you. He said that's your favorite. So Vanessa, happy birthday. Yay! So let's get start cooking. All right. To go with our patties today, I'm making Mavi. It's a Guyanese drink. I don't know what they call it elsewhere, but we call it Mavi. It's made from a bark, tree bark. So I got my bark, I got some star aniseed, and I got some ginger. I got about eight cup of water, so I'm gonna put this in there. And let that boil. So I put the, the heat on low and I'm gonna let that boil about for like 20-25 minutes. Right, so meanwhile our mavi is boiling, we're gonna get started on the crust for the patty. I get four cup of flour, I get a little bit of turmeric or dye, one teaspoon, one teaspoon car powder, I got one teaspoon pink or Himalayan salt, we say pink salt, four teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I got some whole milk, a uh, stick of butter, and some shortening. So let's get started on the, the crust. All right, so first thing, I got my shortening, and it comes with the measurement. As you can see, once you cut in the middle, it's half a cup. So we're gonna cut half a cup. And we're gonna cut this up. I'm cutting it up into little pieces, so I Mix a little better. See? Now I'm gonna cut up my butter. Make sure the butter is really cold. You don't need a group temperature. So. Life in care cut butter. <laughs> so I add my shortening and then I'm gonna add my butter. And my granulated sugar, car powder and dye or turmeric, salt, and my baking powder. Then I'm gonna mix this all up with a fork. Alright, so you see there? I got my all my my butter, my shortening, cow powder, dye, salt, sugar. See that nice color? That's what you want. So now I'm gonna start mixing it with the milk. Now we could put water, but I'm putting in some milk now. All right, so make sure you use cold milk because if you, you want it as flaky as possible. So everything, the butter, the shortening, Everything should be cold. Then you continue mixing it up. You want it nice and soft. All right, so there you have it. You see how nice and soft that is? Look at the color, how nice this is. So I'm gonna do is I just gonna go in with my hands. Get it off the side of the bowl. There you go. Cover it with a tissue. I'm putting it in the fridge for like 30 minutes. All right, so today we will be making some beef patty. I got about two and a, two pound of ground beef. I got some scallions, 
cut up onions, carrots, I got some pepper, I got some garlic powder, tomato paste, onion powder, I got some all purpose seasoning, I got some garlic and ginger, oyster sauce, brown mint, ketchup, and soy sauce. And I got some olive oil in my pan heating up. Once they get hot, we'll start with the onions. All right, so meanwhile my onion is frying up. I wanna say happy birthday to Tanuja, who celebrates her birthday on the 27th of February. Happy birthday going out to you from your loving dad. Have a happy birthday. All right, so my onion is cooked. I'm gonna throw in the carrots. Scallions or shallots. Then, on my ground beef, I got some garlic powder, I got some onion powder, and I'm gonna put in a little bit of uh, purple seasoning. Then I'm gonna mix that up. So the onion powder was one tablespoon, the garlic powder was one tablespoon, and the uh, purple season was like half a teaspoon. And I'm going to mix this all up. So I'm cutting up some of that habanero peppers. So the beef patties could be a little spicy. I'm not going to use a seed. This is where all the heat is, see? So I'm not gonna use that. All right, so my veggies cook for like five minutes. So I'm gonna add my beef now. Then I'm gonna add about one teaspoon soy sauce. One teaspoon oyster sauce. And then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of ketchup. Okay, that's not so good. And I want to say happy birthday to Zachariah who turned six, who celebrates your birthday on March the 3rd. Happy birthday. So I had my beef here for like five minutes cooking. So I'm going to add my pepper. I have one teaspoon of tomato paste. I have some fresh thyme. And I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of uh, purple seasoning. Get that up on here. Oh, yes. Okay. Alright, so 
I'm going to add some ginger and garlic. Then I'm going to add some brown in. One tablespoon. It's a nice color. Look at that. That nice beef patty color you're looking for. Look at that. So we're gonna let that cook. I want to say happy birthday to Samia from New York who celebrates her birthday on March 6th. Happy birthday! Right. So meanwhile, we got our beef cooking. Look at that. So nice that is. We oh, see all that little excess fat and oil that's in there. What we're gonna do is breadcrumbs. I like to use panko. One, two tablespoon. There we go. See here? finish for the beef patty filling look at this See how nice and soft and loose there's no lump uh, normally some people blend it up but I don't have to because the way it cook now look at it nice so we're gonna put this to the side to cool down and our mobby is finished so I'm gonna go strain it now Strain it and let it cool down. Then we're gonna sweeten it. Alright, so I'm gonna put half a cup of sugar in there. If we want some more, then we'll sweeten it back later. But for now, I'm gonna just put half a cup. Then we're gonna put it in the fridge to get cold. I tasted it and I'm gonna add an next half a cup of sugar. I want to say happy birthday to Fazila from Orlando who celebrates her birthday on March the 5th. Happy birthday to you from me and from Isam. Happy birthday. All right. I got the dough out of the fridge. As you can see, it got a little stiff. Look how pretty that color is. So now we're going to start rolling it out. So first thing, I'm going to put some flour here on my board. Oh, so I separate my dough in two portions. I put some flour. I'm gonna add a little more flour. Then I'm gonna start rolling it out. I want it kind of square. So I got it nice and square. What I'm gonna do is, I got my sharpening here. I'm gonna cut some. I 
That's my potato peeler. I'm gonna shave some of the butter. So if you want your crust to be very flaky, make sure your butter is very cold so that you could actually do it with a potato peeler. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna fold, 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 fold. fold. And we're gonna roll it out again. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. This. So I repeat the same process, butter sharpening, then I'm going to fold it again. Now I'm going to put some more flour. I roll it out, then I put some flour, not for it to paste. Then I'm gonna fold it back. Flour it again. And I put it back in the fridge. So I'm repeating the same process for the veggie patties. So I got my steamer on here and I'm gonna steam some of the vegetables for my veggie patty filling. I got some cabbage, purple cabbage, grated carrot, some mixed vegetables. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Nice and colorful. and some black pepper. And I want to say happy birthday to Kim, who is going to celebrate her birthday on the 27th from your brother, Grove Y. Happy birthday, Kim. And Grove Y, big up, man. I've been watching your videos eight years ago, the Pagua, you and Terry. So, hey, 
keep doing what you do, man. All right? And again, happy birthday came from your brother, Grove White. All right, I forget to mention my steamer. I got some water in the bottom, as you can see in the pan. And then the vegetable goes inside here. And there's a lot of little holes, so all the water drips down to the pot at the bottom. All right, so I took my dough them back out the fridge. And we're gonna start cutting up and making our patties now. So this, I'm gonna start filling up my patties, my patty. I have my egg wash. Go all the way around. I'm gonna fold it. I'm going to go too far, don't go too hard on it. Then I got this pizza cutter. I'm gonna go in. Take off all the little excess. And here we have our patty ready for baking. And I put it here on a mesh on top of the pan so that the air goes underneath and the patties in the bottom don't get soggy. All right, so now I'm gonna fold some of my veggie patty. So these are, are my beef patties. This is my 
veggie patty. So the rest of egg wash I got, I just put over there and I use it all. See that nice color? It's because of the turmeric or dye. We didn't have to put no color in. Got a nice golden color in it. I set my oven at 425 because I want to bake it pretty fast. So we're going to stick the beef in the bottom and then we're going to put the veggies on top and let that be. And I want to give a shout out to Alvin and Salima from North Carolina. Thank you guys for the support. I do appreciate it. Thank you again. All right. So let's check on the patties. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Patties is finished. Patties. Nice. Let's see how nice and how flaky that is. So I had it in the oven for 17 minutes or 425 degrees. Look how nice and see how flaky it is. Look how nice it came out. Nice. Alright, so there you have it. My beef patty and my veggie. See how nice and moist it is. So let's have a taste now. Oh my god. So good. Mm. And here we go. Cheers to everybody that's celebrating their birthday again. Happy birthday. There goes my Mavi. Oh yes, that is good. Again, some people like it strong. Some people don't like it that bitter. I like it strong, so I made it a little strong. And here you have, my wife made some nice, lovely sorrel drink. Look at that, how nice and so. Cheers, babes. Oh yes, that is good. I think that tastes better with the patties than the mavi. So let's try a piece of the veggie. Oh yes, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Again, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.